Okay, hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. If you observe the video um, carefully, you'd be able to notice that I'm only moving the mouse over the main memo player or the main memo emulator. But everything is being reflected or everything is being copied on the right side, which is the cloned emulator. So all the movements, all the clicks I do on the main emulator would also be followed by the cloned one. Now, how is this possible and how can we do this? We know the significance of doing this within the game. Imagine how you can level up two of your accounts at the same time. Per se, your main account is an attacker and the second account is a support type character. You can definitely level them up or do quests at the same time, especially in the beginning quest or the tutorial quest. Since the route is pretty much, diff um, pretty much similar for everyone, then you're pretty much sure that all the quests will be the same. Now, as you can see carefully, I'm only moving and clicking on the main emulator. And if you can see, the first account is wearing a blue hat and the one is wearing the Alice... I forgot the name of the equipment. But I'm controlling the character only on the main emulator. And the second emulator is just following every command that I do. Now, this is possible by using the synchronizer button. Now, how do you use the synchronizer button? If you're using MemoPlay, just click on more then just select the synchronizer button the synchronizer button would be the one with the arrow po pointing to the right and the one pointing to the left now once you click on the synchronizer there would be an option so the option would be similar to the one you're seeing right now so you just need to select the cloned emulator that you're using then click on play once you click on play Every movement you do on the main emulator will be reflected back on the cloned emulator. So you can pretty much do all the quests together with your secondary account or you can visit any maps, um, do events or grind and farm using both accounts. Okay guys, that's it for our quick guide today and if you enjoyed the guide, please remember to subscribe and click the bell notification button so you would be updated every time I upload a new tip and have a good gaming night.